MSI is kind enough to let us run Time Spy on the RTX 5070 behind us in the MSI Crosshair 18HX. This should be 115 watt. We'll actually see. Let's check it out. First time checking out the RTX 5070 in a Time Spy benchmark. Let's all right, so you can see the basic specs here. We get an Ultra 9, 275HX, RTX 5070 or 5060 later. QHD Plus, 240 Hz, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, and like up to 170 total TDP between the two CPU and GPU. So a lot of power going for an RTX 5070, which should theoretically max out around 115 watts with 55 watts to the CPU. Now we don't have an overlay so we'll just actually have to check out the performance afterwards. I mean, the best thing I can probably do is give you the give you the actual FPS down there. 100 is pretty good. 95, 82. All right, so things are going pretty smooth. Um, and in terms of budget, budget 18-inch laptops, this one's actually looking pretty good because you get four zone RGB keyboard with a 170 watt total TDP with a really high end CPU. Um, and then you get a nice RTX 5070 with a 240 Hertz QHD plus display and Thunderbolt 4. So you get some nice ports. I wish it had a few more ports. And honestly, I wish it was a little bit thinner and lighter. It's almost like the Raider 18 HX chassis, but with, you know, all plastic and maybe a little bit lighter weight. You know, but uh, yeah, the, the CPU only TDP, we don't know for running things like Cinebench R24, or R23, uh, but it does have that really high end 275HX available. And this thing starts at $1699. So it seems like a, a at least a pretty decent for a mid-range kind of budget-ish 18 inch laptop. Let's take a look at the FPS mark again. Around 55, 53 FPS currently in time spy i'm anticipating around maybe 13 and a half 14 000, somewhere in that range you know, msi i think tends to struggle with uh putting in high quality displays as well as high cpu gpu thermal outputs for their budget laptops but the msi crosshair at least in, on paper doesn't seem to be struggling too much you know with the with those two things because you've got a nice display and enough thermal headroom, hopefully, to get good performance on the silicon inside. So what do we get? 14,198 for the combined score. The GPU only score, 13,940. CPU score, really good at 15,866. Overall, that's some pretty good performance for a budget laptop, 13,940. You're gonna be able to play a lot of games on ultra and medium settings uh, at QHD especially if you add some upscaling in there. So there you go, my first RTX 5070 Time Spy run. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.